All right, at this time tomorrow, the State Fair of Texas will be, of course, in full swing, and we can't wait. There are so many landmarks over at Fair Park, but few of them have the strange history and the mystery of the Woofus. Here's Brooke Katz with a story that began more than 80 years ago. was 1936. Texas was celebrating its centennial with an exposition at Fair Park that drew nationwide attention and even a visit from President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Oh, you are 100 years young. Artist Lawrence Tenney Stevens created several sculptures for the event, including the tenor and contralto statues featured at the end of the esplanade. But one of his more whimsical creations is tucked behind the cotton bowl down a side street on the way to the agricultural buildings. A weird squat creature known as the Woofus. It is an amalgamation of six animals, the head of a sheep, the neck and mane of a horse, the body of a pig, turkey feathers, duck wings, and of course the longhorn. According to an old news article, Woofus was simply a working name. A nationwide contest later will probably find it a name less expressive but more dignified. But that never happened. While the name stayed, the original sculpture did not. Sometime in 1941, it was damaged, and so it was taken down to be repaired, and it disappeared. And nobody really knows where it went. Matt Wood is president of the nonprofit group Friends of Fair Park. He says there were lots of theories about the fate of the first Woofus. Well, allegedly, there was a group of religious folks who thought it was satanic, and people feel like maybe it was uh, destroyed. They snuck in here and destroyed it. Others feel like maybe, as were some other features out here, melted down for, to help the war effort. Uh, I've read a story that somebody thinks it's buried in the back part of the fair somewhere. In any event, we don't know where it is. The pedestal sat empty for decades until the late 1990s when Friends of Fair Park started fundraising efforts to build a new Woofus. Artist David Newton spent eight months recreating the original. But Woofus number two would never make it to Fair Park. He was nearly done with it and was about to, we were about to take delivery when his foundry burned and he had to do it all over again. As they say, the third time's the charm. The current version of Woofus started his reign in 2002. He evokes emotion. I think it's part of the, the great tradition of what's left at Fair Park. And uh, the Woofus is, is unique to us. There is not another one. Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News. Well, the Woofus, by the way, is 20 years old this year. He needs a little touch-up. Friends of Fair Park raising money right now to recoat the exterior and restore the horns. They also sell mini versions in case you want your own Woofus.